Hi there. Welcome back to another Tips and Tricks video. My name is Rita Zarate and I'm the Hero Support Manager here at Parlevel Systems. Up until now, I've covered basic tips on the vending machine side of our software management system. Today, I'm excited to cover another aspect of our system, micromarkets. I'm sure you've heard by now that micromarkets are a rapidly growing industry, and we're excited to be on this journey with you. In this video, I'll cover some tips and tricks on managing your micromarket business with Parlevel. Let's get started. Tip number one, using the product management tool. To access the product management tool, click on Markets, Product Management. From this page, click on the Product drop-down menu to select an already active product in your system to add to your market. Once a product is selected, your existing markets will display underneath. Select the asset, Enter the price and par, and select the Add Update checkbox to confirm which market you would like to add the product to. You can also remove a product using the Remove checkbox to the right of the market and save your changes. This feature is useful for quick additions or adding to multiple markets. You will see that the In Market column will display a yes if the product is in that specific market or no if the product is not yet in that market. If you need to add the same price and par for all markets, you can use the price and par wizard on the top of the page. This will auto fill the information for all of the markets. Click the add or update checkbox and save your changes. You can also increase the price or par using the percentage wizard. Save your changes. Tip number two, how to add UPCs to a product at the kiosk. Once the product has been activated and added to the market, you'll want to make sure that this product has a UPC assigned to it as well. The best way to do this is at the kiosk. Click the My Wallet button at the kiosk, log in as a driver, select the Product Management tab, and you will see any products without an assigned barcode highlighted in red at the top. Click the Assign UPC button on the product and scan the UPC. The UPC will then be assigned to that product. As a note, if the UPC has already been assigned to this product, you will see a message to overwrite the existing UPC. You can also add a UPC to this product if the product has multiple UPCs available. Tip number three, how to add featured products. A featured product is a product that you want to have easy access to for your customers and in a separate tab from your standard product list. To add a featured product, navigate to the settings cogwheel, click on warehouse, products. From this product page, you'll need to enable the Tags column. Click on the Toggle Columns drop-down and click on Tags to enable. Once that has been enabled, search for the product you would like to feature and select a tag to identify this product. This tag can include Featured, Non-UPC, Fruit, Coffee, or any identifier you want. Press Enter to add the tag. Once the tag has been added to the products you'd like, navigate to the Markets All Markets page and click the Edit Pencil icon on your market. Navigate to the Settings tab and enter the created tag in the Featured Product Tags field and save your changes. As a note, the tag created will need to match identically to the tag in the Edit Market page. This includes spelling, capitalization, and spaces. Once set, the Featured Products button will be visible now on the kiosk with all the tagged products. Tip number four, how to schedule an asset for service. Servicing an entire market can be time consuming, especially if it's only a few assets that need to be serviced. Not a problem since Parlevel gives you the ability to schedule only specific assets for service if needed. To schedule an asset, click on the Routes tab. Hover over the route and select Plan Service Route. Select an action type and click the Plan checkbox to the right of the market. The Assets drop-down will appear. Click on the field to view all the assets available for that market and select an asset. You can select as many as you need or you can leave it blank to select all assets. Continue planning the route by clicking the Calculate Route button on the bottom right of the page and select Calculate Pre-Kitting. The pre-kitting will only be generated for the assets selected. Tip number five, how to copy an existing market. Navigate to Markets, All Markets, and click on the Edit Micro Market Pencil icon to the right. Select the Option button on the top right. Select Copy Market from the Options drop-down. Enter the new market name and select the location for your new market. If you do not have the location added in your system, you can select Warehouse as a temporary option until the new location has been added. To add a new account or location, navigate to Settings, Customers, Locations. You can then modify the location of the new market from the Edit Market page. Save your changes. Thanks for watching. With these tips and tricks, you're on your way to running an even smoother micromarket operation. Have anything you would like to see covered? Let us know. Thank you for choosing Parlevel.